Hi guys and welcome to this Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. In this series of videos we're going to be building a one-page scrolling website with a Divi WordPress theme. And this theme's got some great things. It's got some video sliders. We've got animations. Got a bit of CSS going on there. Got a video background. And in this series of videos, I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually put this site together. We'll start from scratch and we'll work from the header all the way down to the footer. And we've included some great features like a back to the top button and some smooth scrolling to get to our various sections here. And although Divi has some great built-in themes and templates. This is for people that want to build their own from scratch. And it really is quite easy, especially with the new Divi Builder. For those of you that haven't got Divi, you can get it from my affiliate link below this video. Or you can go to elegantthemes.com and get it from there. So let's get started building this site. OK, so here we are. We're on a dashboard of a fresh install of WordPress. And the only thing I've got installed here is our Divi theme. Don't forget there's an affiliate download link below if you want this premium, premium theme. Or you can go to elegantthemes.com. And also I'm using the Divi Theme Builder plugin. And I've got version 2.0.67 at the moment, which is the latest one. And let's have a look what the theme was. It's Divi 3, I know that much. 3.0.105. So the first thing we want to do is create our nav bar, the top bit. At the moment, it's just a blank, generic WordPress page. So let's get our nav bar sorted out. So what we want to do. I've got a little folder here with some assets in it. I've just got some images, a couple of logos, a light one and a dark one, a couple of background pictures for the slider and an MP4 video. Um, slider images that I'm using here are 1280 by 53. I don't think they're actually, yep, they're all the same. Uh, just for reference and that's just a little mp4 and it's just a, a few megabytes big and I've got a couple of logos as I said and a favicon and a few people pictures and a couple of computer images so let's first thing go and set our logo if we go down to Divi to theme options here we can set our logo and all we need to do is upload and drag in the logo that we want to use. It's fine, I'll give it some alt text, I'll just call it a logo. And we'll set that as our logo. Now when I go back here and refresh, hopefully our logo should appear just at the top there. There we are, and that's what we're going to use. That's all we're going to do for the time being on the nav bar here, because we'll actually put the menu together after we've put some sections together. So let's go back to our dashboard. Let's go to our pages and add a new one. Now you can call it what you want. I'm going to call mine one page because it's a one page scrolling site. And I want to use the Divi Builder, the plugin. Incidentally, the Divi Builder plugin can be used on any WordPress site. It is most effective on the Divi site, funnily enough, but it can be used on any WordPress site. So the first thing I want to do is create a full width slider. So let's hit the full width section. Pop this one up the top there and delete that one. Now inside of here 
we want to have a full width slider. There we are. Now let's start adding our slider heading. Responsive sites for all your needs. And let's have a button that says get started. And in our content, let's add another image. We'll use our little logo. I'm going to use the light colored logo, it'll stand out better. I'll just call that logo light. And insert that into our image there. And I want it in the middle. And underneath, I'm going to use a bit of dummy text. I'm going to just drop that down a bit. I'm going to get some dummy text called Laura Ipsum. So I'm going to go to ipsum.com. I'll put this link below the video here. I'm going to generate. Just grab this last line here. That will probably do it. And put that below. Now in the design, I want to have that text centered. So that's already set to text centered and it's light colored. Now for a background, we want to put one of our images in here. So we're on content, background, color, gradient, image, video. So just hit the plus button and upload our image. There we have it. And I'm going to set that as background. So let's save that. We say we want to get this first slide right before we move on to the others. Uh, so let's just have a quick look, save that. And we'll go ahead and publish the page. And let's preview what we've got. OK, so there's our first slide. I'm finding it a little difficult to read the writing, so I want to put a, a gradient overlay or a color overlay on this slide to make it a bit darker. And I'd also like to make it a bit longer. So so let's go back and take care of these issues. So it's in our slide here. I'm going to give the main element just a padding of 100 pixels all around. That'll make it a bit deeper. Save that. And we also want to give it a background over overlay to make take that down a bit so we can actually see our writing a bit better. So if we go into our slide settings and at the top in the design tab here, you're going to find use background overlay. And I just want it to be black, but I want it sort of have around about a 50% opacity so we can still see through it. Let's just have a look by just checking this little eye icon here. Yeah, that's a lot better. You can read it a lot better. And it's a lot deeper. We wanted that slide a lot deeper. You don't have to. If you want it less, then don't put that much padding on it. Um, if we go back in there, like I say, I put on 100 pixels there. If you wanted to put less, you can it's in the actual slide itself, in the advanced tab, in the main element. So if we change that to 50, you'll see it won't be quite as deep. 50, not 500. <laughs> Save that. 
Now let's have a look. And it won't be as deep. But I want to go with my original one, which was quite big. So let's get out of that and change that back to 100. Advanced main element 100. Save that. We've got our color overlay, which is great. Uh, let's just check our actual slider settings here. So we're in the main one. Show arrows, fine. Show controls, that's fine. We don't need an actual background on it behind the slider itself. Text orientation center. Fonts are all fine. Button I'm going to leave as it is. Padding, well, we've taken care of that with that bit of custom CSS there. Don't need any box shadow at this time. So it all looks good. Let's have a quick save, update, and take a look now and see what it looks like. Just hit the preview changes button. And as you can see, it's a lot deeper now when I put that padding on there. It's sort of a full page slider, or, or almost the full width of the page there, or full height of the page, I should say. And we can read this a lot better there. I left the default button, which is fine. And I'm quite happy the way that that's looking now. So we can go ahead and create our next few slides. Now the actual duration of the slider, we want it to go automatically. So let's have a look down here. And right at the bottom of the design tab on the main full width slider, I'm going to turn automatic animation on. And you can actually choose the duration. That's 7,000 milliseconds. So that'll change every seven seconds. And that's 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 going to work for me. So, But if you want it quicker, then change it. Or slower, then change it. And continue automatic slide on hover. I'll leave that off because all that means is when they've got their mouse on the slide, it will no longer slide to the next one because they may want to click that button or read the text that's on there. So I'm happy with that. Let's go back to our content. Our first slide's right. And all we need to do is duplicate it by hitting this two little oblong boxes there. Now we can go in and just customize our new slide. So let's just go in. We'll give this a new title. Obviously, if you're building this for a, a client, you're going to have some content that you want to put in there. For our purposes, I'm just going to leave that dummy text in there. That's absolutely fine. But of course, we're going to want to put in a different background. So all we do is hover over that image, hit the trash can icon there. And we can go and put in our new image. So just hit the plus sign. And drag in the next image that we want. I'll just call it slide two. Set it as background. I'm going to save it. Now it should have pulled in all our custom styles from that one above, seeing as we just copied it. So let's have a look. Save and exit. Update. And now preview our changes. Well, let's take a look now. It should revolve after seven seconds. There we go. There's our second slide. Now 
that's fine there's our little arrows that show it rotating right let's quickly do the next couple I'll put one more regular one in but I won't even do that let's just put let's go ahead and do a, a video slider for the next one shall we so let's go back into our forward slider let's duplicate our slide again and go in with the three little bars and edit it this time let's change this to a video so what I'm going to do is hit the trash there and the fourth little tab here this is for videos and we'll just hit the plus key and we can import our video here same way all we do is drag it across and we've got to actually put in I'll just set that we've got to put in the dimensions of the video so it plays correctly to ensure that this works on uh, all browsers you want to add a WebM version as well you can just get a bit of video conversion software or go online and convert an mp4 to a WebM and put it in there as well just to, for compatibility okay the video width is uh, HD so it's 1920 by 1080 and pause the video while not in view yep that's absolutely fine so let's save that save this and once again let's update and take a look and preview our changes and let's take a look I'm not going to wait seven seconds I'm just going to go ahead and hit the arrow there's the next one and there's our video and that's working fine and after seven seconds it should go back into the other one there we go so that'll do it for our first video here we'll start the about section in our next video I hope you've enjoyed that if you have please subscribe to our channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. If you're interested in web development, please take one of our courses below. We've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. and There's also some great free courses down there. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.